I have always viewed the isekai genre as one of the more fun anime genres. When I turn on a new isekai anime, I usually go into them with a sense of lightness and adventure. A big story beat of a lot of isekais is discovering and interacting with the world that our protagonists are sent to. This is one of the biggest charms of the isekai genre, in my opinion. The sense of escapist fantasy and watching a normal person being thrust into a new situation under extraordinary circumstances. And I think one of the reasons why isekai anime always seem that way to me is because, more often than not, the protagonists are special or overpowered in some way. This allows them to get away with certain actions in their worlds that a normal person would have no way of surviving. It also allows them to interact with and explore the world in a way that would be unavailable to any other ordinary person. Even isekai anime that are more on the darker and serious side still tend to have this aspect in them. Take Ray Zero, for example. While our main protagonist doesn't have any OP strengths or magic powers, he is still exceedingly special with his ability ability to time loop. In Shield Hero, even though our protagonist is ostracized and faces many hardships, he's still one of the four heroes of the world. Even Tanya the Evil, which is basically our world except with magic, still has that aspect, with Tanya being exceedingly exceptional in her country's army. In that sense, however, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash takes an entirely different approach to the isekai genre. So Grimgar follows a group of people who one day appear in a fantasy world with no recollection of their past lives. Almost immediately upon their arrival, they are forced to become volunteer soldiers for the town they are in. Everyone forms groups and then we follow our main protagonists, which were the leftovers of that initial assortment. It doesn't waste time and thrusts the characters into the harsh reality of the world they find themselves in. They have to fight in order to gain money and survive. If they don't, they'll die. It's that simple. In other isekai anime that I've seen, most of the time our protagonists take what is happening to them in stride. They tend to easily accept their circumstances and get used to the mechanics of the new worlds they are in, becoming accustomed to their situations rather quickly. However, in Grimgar, it's the complete opposite. At the beginning of the show, our main group is really bad. They don't know how to fight, they have bad gear, they're weak, they're awkward around each other, their teamwork is horrible, and so on. And it just follows them as they are struggling to survive in the harsh reality that they're now in. And most of the time, it feels like they are kind of just making shit up as they go along. When I was watching it, I was astounded at how grounded the whole story felt despite being a fantasy isekai. Like, this is is what being in an isekai situation would be in for a person who isn't special or OP in any way. They weren't chosen to be brought to Grimgar. They're not in their level 100 game avatars. They aren't gifted legendary skills or classes. They are not special. Other than you, May, and the anime knows it based on the shots that they take. <laughs> They're just ordinary people that showed up here at what seems to be random. They are put in a situation where they have to enter life or death confrontations or they'll starve. And another thing I found very refreshing about Grimgar is the reduction of game-like elements to it. In a lot of isekai that take place in video game worlds like Grimgar, game mechanics are still heavily prevalent in the new world, like being able to access menus, gain skill points and experience, level up, and stuff like that. However, in Grimgar, most of that stuff just doesn't exist. They still have spells and skills that they learn for their classes, and the world feels RPG-ish with the presence of monsters and magic, but there's no HP system or point system. When someone gets hit with an attack, their health doesn't go down, they have a big bloody gash on their head. When they fight something, it doesn't die when its HP hits zero, it dies when it bleeds out or has its vital organs struck. When they fight, they don't get stronger through their stats being higher and leveling up, they get stronger through gaining actual combat experience and buying better gear. It makes the situation feel that much more grounded and the world feel more alive because they reduce the game mechanics in favor of making progression and combat more organic and lifelike. Now, the characters that we follow are a party that form due to them being the leftovers of the original group, and this fact shows in their early adventures. But the thing about the characters of Grimgar is that they feel very real. These guys are a team, yes, but they are mostly a team out of necessity, not choice. It's very apparent at several times throughout the show that they do not mesh perfectly together. They argue and fight, and each of them has their own emotional baggage and personality to sort through. Haruhiro is constantly questioning himself. Monato is constantly having to juggle filling three different roles. Shiharu is extremely shy and not confident, and every time Ranta speaks, everyone on screen as well as myself wants to kill him. However, what we soon learn about Grimgar is that everyone liking each other isn't important. At the end of the day, in order to survive, they have to work together, which makes all the characters matter and important to the story. And that's what drives the dynamic of our main character 
characters throughout the story. Watching the team start off as a bumbling mess but slowly get better through their constant effort and struggles leads them to developing deeper relationships and trust amongst each other. It's this steady progression that drew me in throughout the duration of the series. As well as the ridiculous amount of Yume shots, I mean Jesus. And it isn't just the party members that feel extremely lifelike, but the enemies as well. One of the scenes I remember very clearly in this show is when it shows a goblin just gathering water from a river when it's attacked by the party. There's another scene where it shows the goblins just hanging out, some of them playing jokes on each other and playing games together. The show made it feel like not only are our main protagonists struggling and living together, but the enemies are too. And for such a classic fantasy mob like goblins, I felt like this was going a little too far, but it worked. It humanized the enemies to make you feel that they aren't just dumb monsters, but actual living creatures that feel and think, which made the conflict even more heavy. It made the world feel alive in that it doesn't solely revolve around our main characters. And this also shows in how Grimgar presents stakes and consequences. So I feel like the big problem with having an OP protagonist in an isekai anime is that there are almost no life-altering stakes present. The character is so strong that no matter the shit show they find themselves in, they can get out of it with almost no issues. And while these types of interactions are still generally pretty fun to watch, it lacks a crucial element of realism consequences. And this element is heavily present in Grimgar. It's made extremely clear early on in Grimgar that the choices the characters make have consequences to them, and also that the results of their choices are permanent. There are no do-overs. You make a decision, things play out, and you have to live with what happens and move on. And because of this realism being present, you feel what the characters feel more strongly. You feel more happy and relieved when they succeed and are celebrating. You feel more tense and worried when they are in conflict. And you feel more sad when things take unfortunate turns. It felt extremely poignant to see this represented in an isekai anime especially, where realism is one of the last things you expect. Even saying the phrase realistic isekai sounds like an oxymoron, but there's really no other way to describe Grimgar other than being a real isekai. From the way the world is presented, to the character interactions, to the creatures that make up the world, Grimgar just oozes realism, and that's something that makes it extremely special, especially in the isekai genre in my opinion. Other than Yume because that is ridiculous. I know when I watched this show years ago that I didn't really enjoy it, but after re-watching it and being more used to the isekai genre in general, as well as having different tastes now that I'm a lot older, it's clear to me that Grimgar is one of those shows that is really unique that kind of flew under the radar. And even though it'll probably never get a season 2, if you're a fan of isekai, or even if you're becoming burnt out on the isekai genre, this show will definitely throw you for a loop, and I definitely recommend you guys check it out. I hope I stoked your interest in this show a little bit, because it definitely threw me for a loop when I rewatched it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.